So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is John Keltler, and I welcome you to a virtual tour through the reprocessing plant here in Karlsruhe. Today, it's a pleasure to have here Dr. Bernhard Bichas, who is the responsible manager for the decommissioning of this facility. Mr. Bichas, welcome to this tour. Thank you very much. So, we will now uh, have a tour through your uh, reprocessing plant. And it would be a pleasure if you could give us an introduction how the decommissioning of this facility is uh, going on and what is the actual status. So, Mr. Vichas, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, like you can see on the pictures, the uh, reprocessing plant is uh, currently in the decommissioning process. The plant itself was built in the late 70s was an operation from 71 to 91. And since then we are in decommissioning. Here you see the uh, fuel pool where we receive the fuel elements from the nuclear power plants. Uh, small picture with the casters uh, coming into the plant. Uh, in the plant itself, we had about 200 tons of fuel elements which have been decommissioned during that phase of the pilot plant. Uh, until 1991. Um, when, when you see it, the next picture, you see the fuel elements sitting in the fuel pool and then they were uh, feed into the decommission and uh, refurbishment process. The plant itself was shut down in 1991. All components and uh, systems or metal systems are already decommissioned and uh, dismantled. Currently, we are in the status to uh, uh, decontaminate the concrete structures like you can see here in the fuel pool. Uh, the next steps will be the decontamina decontamination of the walls and uh, uh, retrieval of the uh, concrete blocks and to bring them into the free release measurements. Mm -hmm. The nuclear waste itself from the process was stored at the site and in order to get it uh, into the uh, storage facilities uh, for the um, final dis disposal storage. They were treated in a vitrification plant, mm -hmm. which was built also on site. It's a BEK in Karlsruhe. Uh, this plant was built also in uh, 2010, it was operated in one for one year for the vitrification of mm -hmm. the high liquid waste concentrates. Here you see a glance on the uh, oven. When when you look at this picture, we have the uh, glass uh, coquilles set up and uh, brought into customer cast and uh, mm -hmm. brought to an intermediate storage device. Also, this facility right now is in decommission state. Uh, currently, we are setting up the equipment to empty the different processing cells. Here you have a glance at the uh, cell with the vitrification oven in there. It's mm -hmm. completely remote controlled uh, due to the very high dose rate we are still have in these cells because we have still some uh, residuals there which, uh, which are requesting a um, remote handling of the complete uh, decommissioning and this uh, dismantling process. Mm -hmm. Yo, thank you very much to give us this insight and short tour through your facilities. So for everybody of you outside who is interested in more details, uh, Dr. Wichers is also attending the DECAN conference and will give uh, us some more insights about the detailed process of decommissioning of these facilities. So looking forward to this event, I appreciate your contribution, Mr. Wichers. I thank you very much. I wish you and your team all the best. And for everybody who is interested, we will share here the link to have an own tour through your facilities. Thank you very much for the opportunity to uh, attend your conference. And I'm also looking forward to meet the people and for a fruitful discussion. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Bye-bye.